Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equations, a composite form f of f of x equals f of x plus x, where x is greater than 0 and f of x also greater than 0. Then what is f of 20, 20? So I'm going to be solving this method in an easiest way. So the relationship between this is linear form. Suppose we assume that if we let this f of x to be equals, let's say we assume kx, the constant value for this. So k is a constant and together with x. So since being in a linear form, then for the first one, which is the composite, if we plug this one into another f of f of x, so this becomes k into bracket of kx. So having this, we are going to replace everything and then we have k squared x equals kx plus x. Then we have to factor out k and we factor out k from here. Here becomes factor out x, we have k squared equals x into bracket of k plus 1. Then x cancelled x, as we have here k squared equals k plus 1. By taking k plus 1 to this side, we have k squared minus k minus 1 equals 0. And solving this one quadratically, we are going to get the value of k to be equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 divided by 2. But according to the given conditions that f of x is greater than 0 and uh, x is also greater than 0. So we only consider the positive part of this and that we neglect the negative. So therefore, the only value of k that we need here is 1 plus root 5 divided by 2. So when I assume back, we recall from where we let f of x equals kx. So we have f of x equals kx. But k is, is now given as 1 plus root 5 divided by 2, then multiply by x. So this is how to make this f of x only. And to find the f of 2020, so we replace every x with 2020, and we have f of 2020 equals, when I change this one to 2020, so 2 will go in 2020, and we have 1, 0, 1, 0, then into bracket of 1 plus root 5. So this is the value for f of 2020. But what if we stop assuming f of x equals kx from the beginning and we do something different? So let's see how we can solve this thing in a different way without assuming f of x to be equals k. So let me just call it in a general form. But the equations is still remain uh, linear. So f of f of x equals f of x plus 1 is a linear form. So another way of solving this is, so we consider the linear form equation for f of x as, let's say we have f of x equals, we have ax plus b. Then we are going to find f of f of x. For every f of f of x, that becomes f of ax plus b. So changing this x to ax plus b, it means this one will be affected and we have a into bracket of ax plus b, then plus b outside. And when we equate all these together, we are going to have this, which is a into bracket of ax plus b, then plus b equals f of x plus x, which is ax plus b plus 
and uh, we have x so we have x then let's expand this a times a x that gives us a squared x plus a times b that is a b plus then we have b equals this is a x and this is a x suppose we factor out x plus uh, from here we are going to have x into bracket of a plus one then plus b so this is what we have and then we are going to do the comparisons we have x here and we have x so we left this together this shows that a squared will be equals a plus one and also these are sets of constants so we are going to let a b plus b equals b so here we have a b plus b equals b but looking at this so if b cancel b we are going to have a b equals zero but a equals to zero b equals to zero according to what we have that x is greater than zero so therefore we don't consider this then we solve only x squared equals a plus one so we count here we are going to have a squared minus a minus one equals zero so just like what we got from the above that k squared equals k plus one and when we solve this one also by quadratic we are going to have the value of a equals one plus or minus the square root of five divided by two and which is a golden ratio since we have our x greater than zero so we are going to neglect the negative and we have a equals one plus root five divided by two then this is still the same thing as phi so which is the golden ratio so therefore our f of x will be equals a x plus b and a is now given us so we know that our b is zero so we are going to neglect that one then we have one plus root five divided by two then multiply by multiply by x so this is the result of what we have for a x plus b we know if you add plus b and from this above we know that a equals to zero and b equals to zero so if you change this b to equals to zero and we don't consider um a equals to zero because s greater than zero but we consider this b only we are going to see that b will cancel so therefore we don't need this b so one plus root five over two then multiply by x and by changing this x to 2020 20, so we get the same result we got above thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe Bye-bye.